Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about how to set and read micropipette volume. You cannot take one micropipette and work with any volume you want. You have to choose the right one. The right one for your volume. For example, P10, P here stands for pipette and 10 stands for the maximum volume. And range is between 0.5 and 10 microliters. One microliter is one millionth of the liter. And P20 here stands for the maximum volume is 20 microliters as you see and range between 2 and 20 microliters. P200 you can work with uh, up to 200 microliters with this marker pipette and the range between 20 and 200. And P1000 you use if you want to work with volume between 200 and 1000 microliters. So let's check what the volume set here. If you think that this is 13 microliters, it's wrong because you see the range is between 0.5 and 10 microliters. You actually have to put a decimal point here between one and three. So actually this is not going to be 13 microliters, it's going to be 1.3 microliters. The same is true here. It is not 85 microliters, it is 8.5 microliters. So microliters. Now let's check this reading. This is not 30 microliters because maximum volume that this micropipette can handle is 20 microliters. So again, imagine that we have a decimal point here and this actually means 3.0 microliters. Now you also know that this is not going to be 174 microliters, but again, we can put a decimal point here between seven and four and we read it as 17.5 four microliters. Next one is easier. The volume is up to 200, the range between 20 and 200 microliters. And we read this number just as it is 25 microliters. And the next one is 138 microliters. But when we move to the micropipette, which range is between 200 and 1000 microliters, is going to be more challenging to understand what we have here. It is not 54 microliters, not 55 microliters, but instead this is going to be 500, but what it's going to be 40 or 50. What is this between 40 and 50? It is 45. So again, you can put a um, decimal point here and you can say that here we have with uh, 545 microliters or we also can say 0 0.545 milliliters, so milliliters, because 1000 here 1000 microliters stand for one milliliter. And the last number we do not read as 100 microliters, again, because range between 200 and 1000, but instead this is 1000 microliters. 1000 microliters. But why first digit is red and the rest are black? Because again, we also can put a decimal point between these digits and we also can say that instead of 1000 microliters we have here one milliliter because 1000 microliters equal to one milliliter and this is all for today subscribe and see you in the next video goodbye